Hi. Okay. So for math this week, we are talking about, we're continuing to talk about in the hundreds of three digit numbers. Um, we started those last week. We're going to finish it out next week. So um, this week we're talking about number sequences, not too hard. Um, it's when you have counting by 100s, 500s, 600s, 700s, so on and so on by 100s. Then this one right here. 410, 420, 430. So do you see how you're, now you're going from, you went from hundreds, now you're going to tens. Now look, 386, 387, 388. So you're going by ones. Then this one, you're going to figure those out. So your number sequence is looking at whether it's one more, one less, one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less. Um, here in this order, this order right here is what is ones. So one less, one more, one less, one more. And then here, putting them in order, 105, 205, 305. So you're going to just keep going that way. Okay. Uh, the next one you're going to do is 10 more, 10 less. So 10 more, 10 less is this one right here. You have 10 more of 287, just like we did in the front page before. Now what's 10 more? or 100 more and matching here. So these ones, you gotta make sure you get 10 more here, 10 less there. You're gonna match, draw a line and match. Um, 100 more, 100 less. Then here on the back, you've got one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less, 100 more, 100 less. And then these are um, comparing numbers with greater than, less than, or equal to. The next one is rounding to the nearest 100. Okay, so I'm looking at this problem right here, and I'm seeing 570. If this is 500 and this is 600, where is 570 located? Is it closer to 500 or is it closer to 600? And your answer should be closer to 600, so you're going to write that right here. 570 is closer to 600. You're going to do all the way through, and then the same thing here on the back. Here on the bottom, this was a little tricky, but I want you to just look at the number line. So 215, 330, 170, and 75. Where do those fall on this line? This is zero, this is 100. So the number between here, it might be 75. Same thing, 100 to 200, what fits in between 100 and 200? 200 to 300, what fits in there? 300 to 400, what fits in there? So just being looking at the numbers and figuring out where one goes. Then the last thing for your week is this fun thing right here. Um, I'm gonna give you some candy hearts in this bag. These are the little hearts here. You're going to col color these ones sort them, count them, see how many you have. You're going to make a graph with those candy hearts. Um, I think that would be really fun for you. And then I have um, a little measuring measurement thing that I'm going to send with you. And you're going to answer these questions using that little measuring thing. And then these two, can you do these in two minutes, please? I'm going to write it on the top. Two-minute time tests, um, just however many you can get done in two minutes, okay? And that is math for today. It should be pretty fun. I think you'll like it. All righty. Um, have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.